Welcome to Spoken Reviews, home of the Spoken Reviews. Today, guys, we have the Austin-built 4680 Model Y at 100% battery charge, and we're going to go and check and see if we have regenerative braking. All right, guys, so the theory is if this battery is actually just software locked and there's more capacity there, I'll still have regenerative braking when I'm at 100% battery versus if it's truly the battery and I'm getting the full use system, it's truly a smaller battery, then of course, once I'm at 100%, which I'm, I am now, uh, the actual uh, charging will not will not work. So that's kind of the theory. Um, so guys, as you guys can see, we are at 100% right now. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're just gonna take it out for a little bit and we're gonna you know test that theory. So once again, if there is more capacity there, and, and again, in the previous video, we said that the app says 50D, we're speculating it's a 66 um, kilowatt battery as the size, uh, but there's also some rumors that it's actually a 75 kilowatt, much like the Model Y coming out of Fremont. So we're gonna go ahead and do this and we'll go ahead and see if we actually do have more battery. All right, let's get this unplugged and we shall start the experiment. I'm really curious to see uh, what's gonna happen. And again, if it does still have regen, that means that we definitely have more battery. So hopefully that's the case. We'll see, stay tuned. All right guys, let's go ahead and uh, get this experiment going. Again, we are looking to see about the regenerative braking. So normally you'll see that right up top, which it didn't get any there. So let's we'll keep going. Oh, yep, it's regen braking. So at the very end of that stop sign, I put the, uh, the brake on, but for the most part, it was doing it itself. So I'm, I'm gonna gas it up here, and then I'm gonna let off completely. And it's, you know I'm saying? It's, it's kind of regenerative braking. You can see the little green, but it's not fully as aggressive as it would. So that's kind of, it's kind of interesting goal. So we'll kind of keep this experiment going. Um, my goal is gonna be to get this back down to 90% because I don't want it, it you know, I, so the way I timed this was as soon as I got to 100%, I basically, uh, you know, started this video, you know, just a good way to enjoy your, your Sunday, right? So I kind of do this stuff on the weekends. Um, so yeah, so again, we're going 45, letting off. It's, it's kind of interesting. So yeah, that is interesting. So I, I let off. And I could see the green line, so like the gray line means consumption, and then the and when you let off, so all right, I'm letting off. There's no one out, so regenerative braking is working, just not as aggressive. But again, this I haven't touched a brake or anything, but it's gone from what 48 down to, to 25 just now, right? So yeah, I mean that is very interesting. Coming up on this. And then I'm actually gonna apply a little bit of the brakes. So yeah, um, hmm. I mean, this one's kind of straight to the point. I am gonna get on the highway, so I do need to burn some. But what we'll do is we'll we'll burn some battery, and then we'll see, you know, how the regenerative braking changes. Like, is it you know does it get more aggressive? And I just know that it does get more aggressive. So it's very interesting to kind of see see this. Yeah, it's a, it's actually pretty interesting. It's actually. I mean, it's still regening, so, yeah. Now we're at 99%, but I just came to a red light to make that left turn, and yeah, I mean, it, yeah. I can definitely feel the regen now. So, that first little bit, right out of the garage at 100%, I was kind of like, ah, is the regen there? I don't know if it's really there, but I mean, it's it's there now. So like it's definitely confirmed. It feels just like before. You know what I also did? I, I did change the, the drive mode to standard 
from from chill so i think that might also be a part of it but yeah i mean the regen yeah I'm let, letting off you can see that green line you guys focus on the green line that's all regen so i mean this just adds to the speculation right guys i mean we've been speculating that hey tesla's you know been very smart and strategic about what they're doing and they don't want to cannibalize you know sales so what do you do you make a really competitive car out of, out of giga texas with a brand new technology right make this great car and then you kind of you know you downplay it and i think that's i think that's what we have because i mean like yep i'm on the highway regenerative braking again i was going 80 down to 68 that quick i mean that's yeah yeah at 90 i'm gonna regen brake yep all regen brake coming off from 90 down right it's getting it back in so yeah um very interesting uh huh and I'm gonna go a little bit further than I, I normally would go because I got and I gotta burn some of this battery off. But and I'll and I'll, and I'll plug the the tweet from Elon and, and the, the data. But basically, uh, part of the reason he he said this is, hey, whenever you charge too high, you lose that regenerative braking. Basically, because the battery's full, full, right? So if you're at the you know the regular long range Model Y that's you know being promoted with 330 mile long range fantastic car by the way uh when that car is at full battery capacity when you regen brake when you let off it doesn't it doesn't regen because there's nowhere for the energy to go but again i'm, I'm letting off again there's no one behind me so I can, i'm doing this on the, on the highway you can see it's regening again down to 60 uh, because there's extra capacity in the in, in my theory again we'll say it again my theory is because there's extra hidden capacity in this 4680 model y when you regen and you let off at 100 percent it's still putting it in there right it's very similar and if you go back to some older videos from those uh let me, don't get me wrong those 2016 model s's that were like sold as 60 d's and they were truly 75 D's. Uh, those vehicles are the same, similar thing, right? Where you could charge to 100%, and it wouldn't affect anything because you had that buffer, right? So you were charging to six. You were charging to 60. My bad. Got to focus on the road. You were charging to 60%, and you had 75% truly out there. So you had that 15%, you know, buffer out there. And then similar with those vehicles, when you're at 100%. Whenever you, you know, did the regen, it actually worked on regening because you had that buffer. And that's that's kind of what we're seeing here, right? So yeah, I mean, this is some some pretty good evidence. Uh, it's not you know 100% concrete evidence, but I think this is some pretty compelling evidence that hey, this car is software locked. Uh, again, making an assumption, uh, it could be you know, a year, it could be multiple years, uh, before Tesla, you know, reveals the truth behind the car, but, I mean, guys, you've seen it with your own eyes, whenever you let off, and then right now I'm, at, I'm down to 96%, trying to burn through some battery, uh, I mean, you guys seen it with your own eyes, right, that when you let off at 100%, you still get a region, versus, you know, the other cars that, are you know being sold and being advertised at the accurate percentage those vehicles you can see right now i'm regening already and you know just in, in this time i mean right now i'm at what you know a couple minutes seven minutes into this experiment and you can see it that you have the ability to to regen so yeah i mean i'm pretty impressed i mean and i would say this for anyone out there who is on the the edge uh i mean you have to make your own decision i can't you know make it for you i don't want to influence anyone but if you get the opportunity to to upgrade to a texas built model y 
if you get that opportunity, look, region in again. Ooh, that's pretty cool. 96% region in again. Uh, if you get that opportunity and one of your concerns was, you know, um, I'm not sure because of the battery capacity. I've heard a lot of people say, you know, I need that capacity, uh, you know, da 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 Hey, all valid, and in no way am I trying to, to, to knock that. But what I'm saying is that there's a lot more to this than meets the eye, for sure. Again, we're going to keep going, so I'll get up to 90, then I'll get off, and it's regen breaking. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's, I mean, that's, that's exactly great. I mean, it's, this is a great, simple experiment. Uh, it's not 100% conclusive that it's a, a bigger, you know, bigger battery, but again, the more and more pieces are adding up, right? So, yeah. Well, guys, uh, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it was helpful. Uh, again, I'm, I'm here to make content. I'm here to be supportive. Uh, just want to get back to the Tesla community and people that are curious about it. I've been consuming the videos for years. Again, this is my second Tesla. I had the Model 3. Uh, the 2019 one, love that one. And this Model Y, loving it. So, guys, if you have any other, like, questions or comments, please leave them below. If you have any other experiments or, you know, hey, you know, spoken reviews, can you do this, can you do that, leave them below in the comments. I'll try to get to them, right? Uh, I'm going to try to put as much content as possible. I know there's very limited... Uh, of these out there in the wild. So I kind of want to just, you know, help help people make decisions and make informed decisions. Uh, anyways, guys, if you like the video, again, hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and sub to the channel, guys. Thanks a lot, and have a great day.